Hello and welcome to the PTZ Camera Operator Handbook Online Course. I'm going to introduce you to this course and one thing that I thought would be fun is I'm going to take you on a little tour of our live streaming studio here where I will be recording this online course. That way, while we're doing our live video productions and recording this course, you'll have an idea of the cameras we're using and the technology that we're using to make it all happen. Now, this course is going to follow the PTZ Camera Operator Handbook. So you can download that book in the resources section of the online course via the PDF so that you have it with you at all times. You can get a paperback copy on Amazon. Let's do a little tour of our studio and I'll introduce you to the course along the way. All right, so let's start with the presentation area. This is where I'll be presenting from and as you can see, I have a 50 inch TV roughly where I have a computer that will be uh, using PowerPoint essentially. And what we do, just to give you an idea of some of the technology that we'll be using here, is we'll connect this computer over the local area network to our main production computer, just to give you a little background. But as you can see, we're going to have plenty of PTZ cameras. In fact, this is a PTZ Optics 20X camera. We also have some auto tracking cameras, a confidence monitor so I can see what I'm doing and just a large amount of technology that's going to help assist me kind of show you guys what you can do as a PTZ camera operator. In fact, right here is the vMix setup for this online course and I'm going to be recording all of this myself. I'm not going to have a producer in here. I am going to be using all of this technology myself. You can see my microphone going up there. We have our live cameras and it's all going to be recorded pretty much right here. You can see we've got a lot of great lighting. I have a whiteboard here that we'll be using to go over some of the more advanced concepts. Plenty of PTZ cameras with tally lights. You'll be learning about these which are very popular in studios. And just everything you would want and need in a studio is here from a presentation perspective. This is our production computer right here, our network switch. You're gonna be learning a little bit about networking and how to use network cables and equipment to increase your production capabilities, some audio technology, and again, just plenty of PTZ cameras. This one specifically supports NDI. That's going to be discussed a little bit more in our advanced portion of the online course. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to our actual video production equipment. This was recorded on a DSLR camera, but I'm going to cut to our actual video production over here to go over the slides and you'll start to get a good sense of what's going on behind the scenes because I want you guys to understand not just how to be a great PTZ camera operator, but the technology that goes into enabling you to control these robotic cameras. So let's cut to that. Hello and welcome back to the studio. In this video, we're going to be introducing you to the online course, chapter by chapter, just a few sentences to let you know what you're going to look forward to and what you should be prepared for. As I am doing this video, one of the things I wanted to show is I'm going to be switching everything remotely using this touchscreen tablet. I'm going to be kind of showing you behind the scenes all the things I'm doing and I think it's going to make this whole process a lot more educational. So this is a web controller for vMix. There's no one in the studio helping me here. I'm doing this all myself, and it's something that you'll be able to do as well. And one of the themes is automation and robotic control of cameras. And you'll see that throughout this presentation and throughout this course, you can do a lot as a PTZ camera operator and as a video production professional. So I'm very very excited about this online course. So we're going to start by talking about the state of the industry. Where are we today? How did we get here? And where are we headed? Then we're going to talk about what a PTZ camera is and what are the parts of a PTZ camera. PTZ cameras are really fascinating. In fact, it's almost like a little mini car because it has a motor inside, right? And we're going to take a look at the insides 
What makes this different from a regular camera? Then we'll look at who uses PTZ cameras and the different types of PTZ cameras that are available for all of the different varieties of workflows and applications that are out there. Then we'll start with the IR remote control. And this is usually the very first type of control that you use when you open the box and set up a PTZ camera. In fact, the IR remote control is a lot more powerful than people think. And it, we're just going to give you a basics of the IR remote control and then jump into PTZ camera control options. And the importance here is that we'll talk about all of the PTZ control options, the smartphone options, the joystick options, the software options, the hardware options, so that you can figure out as a camera operator what's going to work best for you and your budget. Now, then we'll look at how to mount a PTZ camera, which is an important topic because it can really influence your ability to capture video from specific areas of a space. And there are many different ways to mount PTZ cameras, and you should know about those as a PTZ camera operator. Next, we'll look at camera exposure settings. And if you know about cameras and you know about aperture and shutter speed, this will be a refresher for you. But we're going to apply video best practices and PTZ camera best practices to color matching and tuning exposure to get the best picture out of your PTZ camera. Now in chapter 10, we're gonna look about PTZ camera operations basics, so you can really get a good understanding of the operation tools and settings that are available to you. We'll talk about what makes a good camera operator, and camera operators have been essential to television and video production for decades, and now what has changed with robotic PTZ cameras? We will then look at mindful video production. What does it mean to be mindful? What does it mean to understand an audience? And we'll put ourselves in the producer's shoes, the person who is directing the views and making the camera switches, because as a camera operator, you should understand what it takes to make a good video production. Now, I'm sneaking in a special chapter here in between 12 and 13, specifically about Zoom video conferencing and video conferencing software in general. How can we use multiple PTZ cameras to connect to Zoom and other video communication systems? Now, we have a lot of important PTZ camera features that you should know about that are specific to PTZ cameras. You won't find these features on any other cameras. Features such as speed by zoom and motion sync, which are critical for really good PTZ camera operation. And you'll get to know all of these features and we will go through them one by one. Then we will get a little bit more advanced and we're going to talk about PTZ camera control automation. How can we automate controls? That's really what all these robotics, when they really come alive and when they really start to become effective, is when we're automating them to do what we need to at a moment's notice. Next, we'll look at networking, and anyone in the audiovisual industry will tell you that networking is important. Networking is the future of video communications, and PTC cameras are no different. At chapter 16, we're going to talk about synchronizing IP video streams. This is going to be a deep dive chapter. This might not be for everybody, but it's highly technical, and it's actually done in part by the chief engineer of engineering at PTZ Optics, and he tells us about how to timestamp and synchronize IP video streams. This is where we really get into the details. Uh, and I promise I won't bore you, it's an important topic. We'll talk about electronic pan tilt zoom in chapter 17, a new version of pan tilt zoom, and an adaptation to PTZ control that is bringing pan tilt zoom functionality into much more affordable webcams and opportunities that PTZ cameras could never fit into. So it's very interesting. Next, we'll look at the innovation happening in video production. Where's the industry going? Where are the breakthroughs? How are we leapfrogging old technology with innovations that have been released in the past five to 10 years? In chapter 19, we'll talk about remote production the, these robotic cameras can be controlled remotely, but can we take that to the point of having an entire video production done remotely? 
where you're on one side of the world and the cameras are on the other. We'll finish that with a conclusion and you'll have the opportunity to take an online quiz to prove how good you have become at all of this great technology. And I'm just really excited for all of this to come alive and for you guys to move on to the chap first chapter. So I'll see you guys in the next video.